Okay, so not having it back with some Resistance 3 beta, online, multiplayer, gameplay. Hell yeah. Finally was able to contact and get into a match. Uh, by the time I got off from work last night, I came home, I downloaded the game. Then I downloaded the upload for the game. And then I tried to get in a game. Like I tried to get in a match. And it, it, it just didn't happen. So I had to try again. I tried again this morning. Same thing. And now this is literally the first match that I was able to get into. So I figured I better go ahead and record it. I didn't have a great game. This is my first. Like I said, this is my first match. So I was, I'm learning the, learning the level. Learning the, uh, the dynamics of the game and how it plays. Uh, first thing, the controls are the same as Call of Duty. So... You don't have to worry about learning new controls. That's really something. That's something that I, I wish uh, Killzone would do, because I like Killzone's controls. It's kind of they they they're fine and everything, but I wish they would. I wish all first-person shooters had the same controls, because that would alleviate a lot of the uh, you know sometimes the learning that you have to do between games and it becomes confusing at times especially if you play as I say you play three different games with three different type of controls but anyway I, you won't have that problem with this game because like I said it has the same controls as a um, Call of Duty uh, hip firing works pretty well uh, th this is just a basic setup I don't know whether you unlock more guns when you rank up I'm still at level one, and after this match, I didn't have enough experience points to actually make it to level two, and I'm thinking it's because I really, I had a really shitty game. I'm guessing that's what it is. Either that, or it's not that many levels, so each level, you need a, a unbelievable amount of experience points, probably because I had a shitty game. This is like a domination type deal. Uh, you have, what is that, one, two, three, four, five points that you have to either defend or capture so yeah I captured a point here sometime in this match and most of the time I was just running around uh, exploring getting a feel for the controls getting a feel for the game itself and just learning it it's pretty fun uh, I can see myself playing this when the game comes out I'm definitely getting the game by the way I'm really excited for it. If you haven't had a chance to watch that video, the first, uh, I think it was the first 30 minutes, the first 30 minutes of the single player campaign, do that. Uh, if you're on the fence about this game, I believe that watching that video, watching this video, uh, if you can get your hands on the beta, will really put you in the right mind frame to get the game. I think it'll you know, propel a lot of people to buy this game. <sighs> And I think the game is going to be really good. This online is it's lively. You can hear the sounds. It's really good. Uh, your gun has a noob tube on it by default. I don't know whether you can change that out. I haven't really messed with the uh, the loadouts or anything. I don't like the gun. The gun seems kind of weak to me. I don't know whether it's the game itself, the, me the, the mechanics of the game, or whether... That gun is really just low in damage department, you know, low in damage, high rate of fire, something like that. I'll have to tweak the, uh, well, I'll go in there and look at the classes and see if I can change anything around. And I'll probably end up doing another video of this. It's definitely, I'm definitely going to be doing videos of this this weekend. In fact, I may do, <clears throat> I don't, I was thinking about doing a all resistance three beta weekend, but I don't know whether I'm going to do that. I don't want to oversaturate the videos with just Resistance 3 Beta gameplay. So I don't know. Uh, this video is like almost 13 minutes long and I'm going to run out of things to talk about. So probably just going to say a couple more things and then I'm going to allow you to enjoy the wonder of Resistance 3 Online Beta. I was waiting to download this game for a while. I'm always looking for a really good online shooter to play. And I didn't really, I, I never really 
played online shooters like that, but then once you start getting into it, I know for me, once I really started playing Call of Duty, I was like, I was really hooked on it. It gets competitive and it gets your blood flowing, and although I do yell at the game and throw controllers, it's still fun to me. It's really fun. So that's, I mean, that's why I was so amped to play this game, and I was really just, when I downloaded it, actually when I downloaded it and I couldn't get into a match, I was like, man, this is bullshit. Uh, how many other people I was like is there not enough people to make a match or there's nobody on right now it was like five o'clock in the morning so I was figured nobody would really be on but I'm happy that I actually got to get in a match and like I said I'll be playing it a lot more this weekend hopefully I'll get on a different map besides <clears throat> train yard and if you've played this beta or if you're thinking about getting the game let me know let me know what you think if you've played it and um let me know if you're thinking about getting the game. Uh, also, I put up a uh, video earlier today of a pretty cool across the map tomahawk on Black Ops. Oh, Black Ops. Black Ops. Uh, I did that this morning. I was just fooling around. I was trying to get a across the mark across the map tomahawk for a while, and I was on launch. The max just started, and I just ran up a few, a couple yards, and I just chucked that son bitch. A couple seconds later, they dropped down, and well, you'll have to see the video. Uh, it was pretty cool. I tried to uh, follow the tomahawk with the uh, with the theater cam, the free cam, and it looked kind of messed up. But I finally I got it down to where it's, it's visible, and you can see exactly where the tomahawk landed and everything. So, yeah, that's basically it. Keep on the lookout for more of this Resistance Three. I will add it into the. Um, <laughs> shoot them up Saturday and shoot them up Sunday to shoot them up weekend tickets to the gun show hell yeah as long as the beta runs I'll uh, I'll play it um, I'll actually <clears throat> I'm actually always looking for other games to add to it I think SOCOM 4 is going to be added to the mix and more home front more kill zone 3 so I'll have a pretty good rotation of everything. But you guys, let me know if what you think about this game. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I literally have ran out of things to talk about. I appreciate all my subscribers and all the support I'm getting. I'm getting uh, more views on my, uh, my videos. And everything about the channel is on the up and up. And I really appreciate everything. If you're a new subscriber and I haven't uh, personally thanked you, uh, I will get to that sometime this weekend. And if I haven't, let me know, you know, and I will make sure that I do that. But like I said, I'm on the things to talk about. Please enjoy the rest of the video. This has been Resistance 3 Beta Gameplay. I'm not having it and I'm out.